Philippines. And that is it. History for the Philippines. Once again, a new record. Sabi nga sa kanta, ang puso ay alay sa laban kapalit ay tagumpay. Ang isang atlet ang Pilipino ibibigay ang lahat. Kahit anong mangyari. Manalo, matalo. Masaktan. Duguan, masugatan. Lalaban at lalaban. Four basketball events swept by the Filipinos. Apat na gintong medalya sa larangan ng basketball sa Southeast Asian Games dito sa Pilipinas. Alam natin tayo mga Pilipino, we're always the underdogs. Uh, any competition, lagi tayo, kung mapapansin natin, lagi tayong underdogs. Yung pagkikimatapang natin, we're always, ano eh, parang we're always on the go. Laban tayo, we know that we're smaller than them. We know that uh, we're not that talented or we cannot afford kung ano na afford ng ibang bansa, di ba, compare sa atin. But in the end, I think the fighting spirit talaga ng mga Pinoy, yun talaga eh. Yun ang nagbibigay sa atin ng lakas ng loob. Alam mo yung tapatos ko dati, may butas yun. Anong ginawa ko nun? Nilagyan ko ng karton dun sa loob, no, para hindi talaga masugatan yung ano ko, talampakan ko. Pinakamahirap talaga kami sa lugar namin. Ano start kami sa ano talaga, walang ilaw talaga. Yung ano lang, sindi-sindi lang na parang kan, parang kandila. Kung walang kandila, yung ano talaga, yung may gas talaga. Yun talaga ang unang ilaw namin. Tapos yung mga bahay namin is, ano lang, kukuha lang sa mga dyan, sa mga sumil. Naglagalagari ng mga kahoy, gano'n, kukuha lang kami, mga fried food. Tapos pang tapa lang namin. Mahinhin ako tapos mahiyain ako when I was growing up and I got bullied nung nursery ako up until kindergarten sa grade school na bully ako sa high school and then even one incident in college I got bullied. Tapos hindi lang siya sa ano sa academic institutions. Um I was even bullied in karate, in swimming, tapos in wushu. I didn't really try and fight back. I focused on myself. I focused on my career as an athlete and I focused on my um, education. A lot of the Filipinos hoping for another golden performance here from Wong. That was back in 2014. Um, I was um, doing crowdfunding to get to IBJJF World Championship. So at that time, wala pa actually national team. So talagang sariling sikap lang kung gusto mong mag, mag excel sa sport na to globally. Sariling sikap talaga. At that time, 2014, naka-resign ko lang din sa trabaho ko. So, <laughs> wala akong pera. I just took a risk and I said na I, I want to be world champion. Even without a job at that time, I tried to do crowdfunding. Grabe yun. As in, sobrang saya. Kasi just raising enough funds for the world championship um, in the US. Victory na yun in itself. And yung buong journey because of that is a shared journey. When I competed at the 2013 Olympics and I originally got a gold medal and then we had to re-swim it and I got a bronze medal, that was such a um, pivotal moment in my growth, not just in my career but also in my growth and understanding who I am as an athlete. I just sat there and I just had this um, peace in my heart that I there's no way I'm not going to swim it, you know? But, uh, I don't know, like, I, I just knew when they told me that they, they were going to do a re-swim the next day. I knew in my heart that I'd do it. First place, Ernest John of Vienna of the Philippines. And another gold for the Philippines, this time in the pole vault. Sea Games was always a bit of an elusive kind of thing for me, you know. I, before I even won a Sea Games, already won a world-level competition. I've won an Asian-level competition. So I've never really won the Sea Games, you know. I've been always a little bit unlucky. <laughs> I don't know why. So, 2015 I was supposed to win it, then I only got second. 17 I was supposed to win it, I got injured. So 2019 Saudi Asian Games was like, you know, the vindication. I would say 
for me, at least in the Southeast Asian level, to prove that, you know, I'm capable of winning. You know, come on, like it's, a, it's in the Philippines, you know, it's a different hit in the gut if you lose in your home soil. Amazing performance for the Filipino. He's actually the Olympic bound already. I stopped my sport karate for four years so I could focus on academics. The day after my graduation, I started training again because I only had five months to prepare for the sea games. In 2018, I was diagnosed with a grade 2 slip disc that was in my lower back. It gets hard to do certain things. I can't touch my toes. I mean, I can't reach down and touch my toes. Tapos, I can't bend forward. Hindi na ako pwede nakakuba. Tapos, when I sit down for a long time, and when I stand up for a long time, my back starts to ache. Tapos, I've had patellar tendonitis in my right knee ever since 2012. So, I've dealt with my knee for a long while. So, I know how to take care of it. Hindi na siya nawawala. You just have to really prevent the pain na lang. Yung sa back ko naman, it was kind of a blow to my career. Kasi it was a very major injury for me. So, in 2019, I really focused on trying to take care of my body. So, it was a very, very slow and painful process for me. It was very enduring. It really taught me my limits. It really made me go far beyond my limits, actually. Nagkatrangkaso ako nung mga two weeks before po yung laban ko. At ang higit po sa lahat yung uh, pagka-renovate ng uh, mga gym namin. Wala kami nga uh, oval na uh, matakbuhan. So wala kami nga uh, training facilities talaga na uh, maganda. Kasi nung time na yun, um, nag-renovate lahat ng mga stadium sa Baguio, sa Manila. So yun po yung uh, uh, hirap na hirap po kami makap makapag-training, pero yung dedikasyon namin na gusto namin manalo, gusto namin mag-goal. Oh, huge left. And oh, another one. And he hurt Kuang. And he's going for and the kill. kill. They give a standing eight count. Did you oh, see boy, the power? What, what an attack. My conditioning wasn't the same. Everything was different. So, um, I worked so hard and I went to Turkey with my team to train for two months for the SEA Games and it was the most difficult training camp I've ever experienced po. Itong karate, I know it's gonna be a long shot tapos parang masyado namang swerte kapag gold pa sa SEA Games. Pero um, I believed in myself, I believed in the coaches and the program and kinaya naman po. I mean, I did everything um, I could to win that gold and it happened po. Congratulations, Philippines, Liam Shaley, Christine Berperabe, and Jasmine Alcaldi of the Philippines. Great, great swim for her. As a Filipino athlete, I feel like that's the winning spirit is no matter how wrong something gets or, you know, setbacks, failure or whatever, we still get up and fight. When I actually won it, and when I actually landed in the pit and the bar stayed up, and I know I'm, I'm the winner, then you know everybody was out of the competition. I feel really relieved, and at the same time, like this sense of accomplishment. Maggie looks like she's in good control right now. I, I'm expecting to see from her. Alam mo yun, Lord, iko to parang iko yung nagdala sa akin dito, at iko din yung nag nagay ng mga tao sa buhay ko na. So Lord, salamat talaga Lord dahil binigyan mo ko ng ganitong gift. <laughs> Kasi uh, kung wala, still lang talaga kami doon sa bahay na ano, barong barong, may trapal. Hindi ko talaga in-expect talaga na sa maraming uh, atleta na malalakas dito sa Pilipinas. So, ako pa yung pinili, di ba? Walang imposible talaga mga amigo, no? yung kahirapan ay hindi at lang para makamit mo ang iyong mga pangarap. Basta sipag at saga ka lang, madiskarte ka lang sa buhay at yun nga, uh, tiwala, lang, tiwala ka lang doon. No? Isa yan, isa yan sa mga kalakasan natin. Their first ever reign as champions of women's Southeast Asian Games basketball. Isa lang, puso. 
winning spirit ng isang atleta, lalo na Pilipino. Yung grit, yung courage, yung lahat gagawin niya, manalo man o matalo. If you win a gold medal in front of your very own countrymen in your home country, that has got to be a lot sweeter. That's a special feeling. Oh, yes. Wow. wow. Amazing job. We're going to make this country proud. And now that's how you win the campaign. The best version of ourselves So when is one we work as one is us and no one else We call it by a knee hand when we lift each other up Forget our own pursuits It's all about what we're giving back Lay down your time and treasure For this is our allegiance We win as one no matter what our gender is religion We stand by each other in defeat or victory We volunteer, give our all, this is our history We are, we are, we are.